Janine, where are we? Um, the cabin. The cabin. On the zip line. Adios! I think we just set a world record. You excited to be at the cabin? Oh yeah, I'm gonna like drive down here. It's gonna be awesome. Cub is driving. Cub, remember the pizza rock? Yeah. Let's go for it. Well, the cabin is special. The combination of being out in nature, smelling the pine trees, the fresh air, not having internet access, and then all of the memories that we have on all the different parts of the cabin area just makes this place magical. That's the best! Do you want me to hold your hand, Nene? Here we go. Kids are playing and we're getting all settled in here at the cabin, but my mind is just in back to school planning and prep mode. I just feel like back to school is on the mind of everybody that I talk to and think about because it's just such a crazy year this year. There's so much unknowns ahead and our family is going to be homeschooling again, which means I have a lot to do to get ready for homeschool. But as we get ready to do back to school shopping, I was really grateful that CVS Pharmacy reached out to sponsor our video today with a focus on back to school prep. This year looks different for everyone and I feel like more than ever we're focused on all aspects of our health as we get ready to go back to school. I feel like I need a lot more than just the traditional school supplies and so what I love is that at CVS Pharmacy I can get everything that we need to feel confident in the school year ahead. They have personal hygiene, health and immunity support products, they even have face masks that I need for my kids. As we're getting ready for the school year, I love leaving the kids little notes. It's just a simple thing, but it helps build their confidence. We know not all families have access to the back to school supplies that they need. And so Jeremy and I were really grateful when we heard that CVS is actually partnering with PNG to donate $500,000 in value of supplies to Boys and Girls Club of America. Let us know in the comments what you're doing to inspire confidence in your kids and how you're prepping for back to school this year. Click the link in our description box to learn more about CVS Pharmacy. Every time Janae talks about the cabin, she talks about seeing grandma and papa and the baby play kitchen. And she has been talking about it constantly. The whole drive here, mom, when we get there, can we play with my baby kitchen? And the moment has finally arrived. So Janae, what are you making? Noodles. Noodles? Yeah. How about you, Laura, what are you making? I would like mint chocolate chip. Okay, come in right up. Sit at your table. Here is the bowl for the ice cream. Would you like some pasta? Feed, yes. Feed the cat. Elise and my mom and I are headed out on a walk, a morning trail walk. Elise has got her walking stick. Is it easier or harder with the walking stick? Different. Do you want to leave the stick here? I like it. So I, I just rested my hand against this tree and there's sap all over it. I'm gonna have to go clean that off. But sap smells amazing. It's a very strong pine tree smell.
So this stump is one that we've let Caleb just come to destroy. So now I think it's a little bit easier for you to work on it. Kendra and I have a theory that kids are actually a lot happier when they're doing more manual labor, like the physical moving of stuff, building stuff. It helps get their energy out and they can see the accomplishment of doing things. There it goes. What do you want? Push it over. Do you remember the name of this kind of a bird? Pecker. That's a woodpecker. Woodpecker. A woodpecker. A pecker. Yeah, they have red on their heads and black and white on their bodies. It was going to fly on you. Is it going to fly on me? Yeah, if touch it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so my great grandpa made this. And so it's really fun to me. We just read a book all about woodpeckers. Do you want to show them the book? book has holes in it. Hmm? He bent the trailer! <laughs> the zip lines up. You excited about it? Was it scary or fun? The brakes are like immediate and it's like ah! and you go like Something my dad is really good at is making sure the kids can have fun but stay safe. So he's got the zip line all set up. Back on the zip line. Adios! Caleb. Woo! We're going to teach you more about a triangle than you've ever thought possible. Okay, so what we have here is a triangle, and they make this funny little square in it. And trigonometry deals with what are called right triangles. So think of this vertical Where piece. That's a right angle. Yeah, and they draw it like a square because it means it is literally 90 degrees. Okay, we don't know what these angles are. Right? As long as one is 90, the other two have to be. So this could be one degree, and this could be 89 degrees, and this could be 90. Trigonometry would work with that. Here's the deal. If this were a tree, let's just pretend this is a tree. Now, the question is, how tall is that tree? And if you know this angle, and, and this that, length, then you can figure out then that you can angle. Exactly, you can figure out. And then that. figure out the length. Everything. I wouldn't be surprised if I will be measuring the height of like all of the trees at the cabin. All right. Uh, is that hitting it? So you're trying to see the very top of that tree? Yeah, he's pointing it like a rifle tree. at the top of the tree. 45 degrees. 45 degrees. We cannot forget this corner. That's where the end was. So now we have to measure from that exact point how far it is to that tree. Okay, you hold this on the ground right at that magic corner. Caleb, you want to help measure? Mm -hmm. We may need more than one. All right, you've got the measurements. Now you got to do the math. Yep. Okay, you are in charge of all of this. Draw the triangle. Figure out the formula. Okay. I want you to do everything. Okay, you've got your opposite hypotenuse and adjacent properly labeled. Yes. Which then, formula are you going to use? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Adjacent divided by opposite. So I'm using tangent. You are using tangent. It's 56.816. So that tree. It's 57 feet tall. Yep. You did it. What do you think of that? It I, I, feels satisfying. Okay. What are we going to do now? <laughs> now we're doing calculus. Look yeah. up at the moon. I think we just set a world record. In 25 minutes, we cleaned up entirely after dinner, sweeping the floor, doing all the dishes, even drying them and putting them away. And in that 25 minutes, we also got five kids in and out of the shower, teeth brushed and ready for bed. 25 minutes from dinner to bedtime. World record for our family at least. And I think we're all tired and ready for bed. So I think that's why that worked. Good night, sweet kids. It's time to rest. Do, 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 do.
Good night, Ready? sweet kids. Let's do our best. Come on, everyone, get in your bed and rest your little head. We don't have little heads, we have big heads. Have big heads. So Janae has no more room left on her pillow. <laughs> Where are you going to sleep? I'll sleep right here. <laughs> Tonight we're finishing the book, Mr. Popper's Penguins. Which we've listened to before. This is a second time, right? Yeah, I've read it a lot before. This is our first time listening on audiobook. We did it while we were driving. We really liked it. Yeah, it's really interesting. They clapped and stamped and roared for more of Popper's performing penguins. Good night. Do you have Are you smelling his head? <laughs>